This is J Balls of Fire here, and I am going to show you guys how I kill that bastard. The dude with the boomerang shaped mouth and a funky ass one eye, affectionately known as the Deer Clops. This is my first winner, as you can tell up in the corner. Uh, you will see that this is day 33, and this monster has just showed up last night. He came into my camp, or he was on his way to my camp, and I smacked him and kited him up to this. Savannah, just north of where I am at, just to give him, the, just give him the hell out of my base. So my approach to killing this guy is, and I don't have the pan flute because someone was in my game with me, as you can tell by how much stuff we got in this game that I didn't do this by myself. There was someone in my game with me, and uh, they had the pan flute and left with it. So I grabbed my 15 marbles. I only needed 12. A bunch of stuff to make ropes, some pig butts, which. The pig skins are just pig butts, whatever they say, I don't care. Uh, some meat, and I'm making a ton of ropes, and clicking away like a fucking maniac. So, now I'm going to practice. these. I've never made these before, as you can tell. This will be the first one of each. I'm going to take this cooked meat that I have, and I'm going to feed pigs. I don't have all that much meat, so I'm going to get what I can. Uh, too bad I didn't have a bunch of eggs already in the game. I could have made some explosives or done some other approach to this, but I don't have that shit, so I'm going to show you guys how I made this happen. This is my first encounter with this guy This uh, in this playthrough. If I could uh, go ahead and recruit Fat Bastard laying there, dude, I'm pretty sure he'd be a badass, but he just lays there and does nothing except gives you gold. So, I mean, you give him toys, he shits gold. It's kind of like the golden goose that laid golden eggs for Christmas. Golden nuggets for toys or some shit. I don't know. You know what I was getting at. Anyways, you see me clicking this? This is because I want you to see that this is so fucking important of a tool for this fight. Bam. Now, that's not going to do much damage to the dude. But it is going to keep him pissed off for a while. Enough to follow me up to the four beefalo or five beefalo that are left since I ate beefalo for the whole year. I almost killed the whole herd. So, uh, by day 88, I don't touch them for the next 50 days or so, and they end up coming, they end up breathing and coming back. So, I don't have enough beefalo to just kick this guy's ass, so I had to go with this approach with just whooping on him with the hand bat. Now, here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to uh, light him on fire, and he's going to call the guys next to him, because when he swings his, when he swings his little area of effect attack, everything around him gets frozen, so I walk up and freeze him. Well, I mean, I walk up and light him on fire. It keeps them guys from getting frozen. Now, I was a dumbass and crap with my marble stone for a while, but as you can see, I'm not taking shit for damage. I mean, I can pretty much just sit here and eat on him, but I gotta keep lighting him on fire. So he melts them guys. Now, I think he kills the baby here, and one big one, or maybe just the baby, I'm not sure. He doesn't kill very many of them. But the idea was to keep these guys alive because this is my driving first one. But as you can tell, I kicked the living shit out of that guy, dude. Now, the problem with him is he always freezes you when you're attacking him. So I just decided to try to light his ass on fire. It totally worked, man. Uh, I made a elephant coat or something, so I didn't actually need any of that fur. Anyways, good thing I didn't because the fucking fur all burned anyways. But... So, now what I'm going to do is gather all this meat and show you guys just since you guys pretty much should have the gist on how to kick the shit out of him. There's a couple things to take note. First one is when you're passing all the marble early day exploration, you need to either make a note of where the marble is or just pick it up right there in the spot. You know, it's, it's fucking super important because I don't know how much marble you actually get in the game, but it's sure the hell, look at that. My suit's only down to like... 71% I, I can't tell because I'm recording this from after while I'm watching this video but anyways I didn't take shit I, I mean I sat there and whooped on him and I totally dummied out I didn't put in my fucking coat back on look I took my coat off I didn't even put a coat on so you can see how stoked I was about this fight but I knew I had a little bit of health apparently I knew I had a little bit of health because of watching this it shows how uh, retarded I can be so, I'm going to come up here and uh, pick some grass because I can't even make a flipping fire. I need to make a fire so I don't die. Boof, made a fire, put my coat on, bam, good to go. Let's eat some meat. My dude's starving. I might have ate a couple gears by now in this game. I'm not exactly sure what my max, what my 
max uh, stats are, but whatever. I look like I was a little pretty hungry there. I should also have a beefalo helmet somewhere. Apparently, I ain't wearing it like a dumbass, too, but whatever. Uh, that was warm enough to keep me going. Uh, looks like I didn't even bring a thermal store or nothing. I was really fucking chancing that there. Good thing that worked out. Uh, as you can tell, though, I'm heading back to my base camp with the spoils. That, uh... That eyeball makes the umbrella, which is literally your safe passage through spring and summer. I mean, you kill the giant, each giant gives you something awesome. And if you kill that giant, you and you can repair his gear too. You can repair that gear. And it gives you the best, the best, uh, it's called the umbrella. It keeps the rain off you, keeps the sun off you. I'm gonna die. Whew. I didn't die. Because Charlie will come and whoop it by ass. Drop four boards in there. Just like that. Or drop a board, four logs. Burn through the night. You know what I'm saying? Um, so as you can tell, I'm super stoked because I just literally did this video because I was in a forum on Steam and a guy said, you know, something about, oh, spring so hard. And another dude said, well, use the umbrella. And then someone else said, yeah, but you can't do that the first winter. You can't get it the first winter. Like assuming we wouldn't have the shit to do it. Well, there you go, boys. I just showed you. It was a uh, pretty effortless. I whooped that shit's ass. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you want, I can make some more videos. Just let me know in the comments what you want, and I'll and I'll give I'll give it a go. I'm also willing to just about play any goddamn game. I love video games. So uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe below, or fuck off. You know, it's up to you. You just pick what you want. Later.